I told her that I thought he was dating them at the same time, and I told her that. And she, which, didn't, she didn't want to believe which, it. Which, no, but, I didn't believe it. No, I wouldn't have believed it. So I liked one of her photos. Then I followed her and unfollowed her, and then all of a sudden, I get a message. Hello, Whitney. I've noticed that you've been checking my profile and following me and then unfollowing me. I'm assuming that Avi must have mentioned me. I was wondering, is there anything I can help you with? She called you out. I said, hey, lady, exclamation point. I certainly didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. After I followed you, I thought it might weird you were Avi out, so I unfollowed and figured you wouldn't even notice, but since you did, wave emoji, wave emoji, wave emoji. She says... Things just got very complicated between me and Avi towards the end of our relationship, and he left me very uncertain about the nature of your relationship with him, which is why I got a bit confused when you liked my picture and followed me. I'm sure you can understand that I'm finding it somewhat difficult to move on from my relationship with Avi. Bitch, when was your relationship with Avi? Yeah, Two years ago? Right. Um... I sensed that there was something going on before him and I broke up. Which was... According to when? Avi, they ain't never been together. Right. He assured me that you guys were just friends and that you and him would never work together. What? Bitch! What? <gasps> oh, no. oh, my God. Up until a couple of weeks ago when Avi learned that I was coming to the States, he still denied there was anything going on between you two. But now all my doubts have been confirmed and I think it's for the best. What the... I didn't think he was capable of that. He would assure me that all he wants is for me to be in the States so we can get married. What? And later on start a family. He was telling her that. The whole time we were dating. Yes. Okay, I can't. This is way more than we could even imagine. Do you need some wine? Yes. Bring me the whole bottle. Okay. Oh sure. my okay. God. <gasps> I understand now why he was very secretive about his past relationships and why he made it a point for our relationship not to be obvious on his social media. He would always say that he's a private person and that he was worried about people he's working with finding out that I'm not Jewish. That's what he would say to you. That's exactly it. Oh my God. So that's just an excuse. That's what he says to her. Ooh. That's what he says to me. That's why he doesn't want to be on social media or anything else. he doesn't want to get caught. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to say I need to speak with you. Yeah, I think oh, you can call through Facebook Messenger. My... You're going to call her? Yes. Oh my God. Right? I don't think that we have even begun to uncover the tip of the iceberg of that lying coward person who we both used to call our boyfriend. Hello? Hello. Hi, Nana.